you just so it's there, and then you can kind of like readjust it. So where are you going to be standing? Um, you, I don't need those numbers. I need that. Recording that one. Here. Why is my face? Oh, my face is Okay, so then how are we going to say it, guys? As far as... Oh, city? Because we're going to be looking this way now. So. It doesn't really yeah. matter. So I think... So if yours, if yours gets this board, then we'll be okay. Because I need, like, the view of this board, and I need the view of this board. Uh, only now where it's not on the screen, though. So scoot forward. <laughs> I don't. You want to see how that's going to work? Here. You guys are okay. So you're okay there. You can scoot back a tiny bit. Actually, you know, you scoot further back. <laughs> you can see me. <laughs> and scoot closer to him. Now you can see him. You scoot a tiny bit forward. You stay where you are. You scoot forward and you scoot forward. Okay. There. So now scoot in. And you're okay. Ish. Do you realize when we stand up, we're right on the board, it's going to disappear? Unless I, my chair does not move. Your chair does not move. Right. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So weird. So we're doing the real thing. There's no nose picking or anything. Oh, we're not doing the nose picking? No. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna do it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Sorry. Actually, I'm not even gonna bother with that. Okay. So for today's, where am I in screen? Ah. Uh -uh. I need to think. So I guess you don't need that. You just need that. There. Okay. So for today's topic, we're going to be talking about the top 10 uh, California commodities. So first off, what do you think a commodity is? I think it's like a, a raw material. A raw material, okay. Um, I believe it's a, a raw material, yes, that can be like sold and grown, uh, uh, connected to agriculture somehow. Okay. I think it's uh, a raw material. <laughs> okay. So for today's objective, I want you guys to be able to teach each other, your peers, about the commodity locations within California and the ranking of California's top 10 ad commodities. So now that we know what a commodity is, I want you guys to start brainstorming them. Uh, talk to each other. Uh, and why don't you fill out this list of the top 10 ad commodities and tell me what you think ranks from one to 10. Anything. Whatever you think a commodity is. Cool. <laughs> so I think one should be like <clears throat> milk. Because I lived in Tulare for a little bit. And there's some cows there. Commodity is not counting. You know what? Professor? Milk. We got it. We're gonna have tomatoes on the list somewhere. Yeah. My grapes. <laughs> Almonds. That's a good guess. That's a very good guess. Uh, what else can go on there? Huh? I think corn. Corn. corn there. How about strawberries? Um, I mean, we said it could be anything that can be produced and sold, so I know that cows are sold. Good, okay. <laughs> what else? I like cotton. Okay, Good cotton. Time. What else? Um, how about <laughs> chicken? <laughs> Number 
core. Walnut. All right. So, looking at your list, why do you think your why did you choose these commodities? Where do you think they're grown, and why do you think those are the right choices? Think about how big California is, and how many acres of these you've seen. Well, I think one of the main reasons you get milk on there is every time you drive up and down the 99, you see a lot of uh, cattle ranches and cattle farms and stuff. So, okay. So milk is a pretty big commodity. Is there a difference between the ones you see? Do you see like? Is, do you think there's a difference between like one that's just for the cow, the cattle? Do you think there's one just for the milk cows, or do you think that they're the same thing? I think they're different, the black and white ones with the milk. And I've seen a lot of commercials for happier cows in California. Okay. I hear happy milk. No, happy cows. No, milk comes from happy cows. Okay. All right. So. Here, what we're going to look at is the top 10 list. And Tyler, you are right. The top two commodities are milk and almonds. Why do you think, and you think that is because of all of the dairy cattle that you've seen around the valley? How about almonds? Where are almonds originally from? Mediterranean? Right. So if they're originally from the Mediterranean, how are they our number two commodity? Our climate matches up with the Mediterranean climate. Right. Um, Want to know a little fun fact about almonds? While they're originally produced and grown in the Mediterranean, their climate and their e economy couldn't quite support the, the quantity that everyone wanted. So Cal they came to California, and California took those over, and that now there are n we're the number one world producer of almonds while the Mediterranean, where they're originally from, is a lot lower down the list. So let's keep going. How about grapes? Do you think it's talking about wine grapes like in Napa, or table grapes as in Fresno? Table grapes. Table grapes, okay. I think it's talking about grapes in general, because when you drive around the valley, or if you're driving around just the state of California, what do you always see, other than cows and grass? Grape vines. Right. So you see all kinds of vineyards and things like that. Um, David, what do you think of, about the about the nursery one? What do you think that means? Mm, as far as greenery or plants, um, herbs and stuff. Okay, so think about where you would buy nursery products. What what do they sell there? Like if you go into the nursery department of Target, Home Depot. Lowe's. What do you think, like, what do they have? Lots of flowers. Flowers, plants, things like that. Those are things that are grown that you're going to take from there and buy and plant in your garden. So that pretty much sums up what we're talking about with the top 10 commodities. Um, in small groups, I want you guys to talk to each other and write about why you think California is the top producing state and more about the cattle, berries, hay, lettuce, and walnuts and tomatoes. <coughs> okay? And is one paragraph enough? Yes, one paragraph is enough as long as it's well thought out. <coughs> okay, you're good. <coughs> cool beans. I'll play it for